Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series for C++. So in today's lecture, we are going to see the use of if else statement in C++. All right. So as you can see on my screen, there is a flow chart for describing the if else statement. Okay. So as the name suggests, if else statement uh, basically means if uh, if it will going to check a condition that is if this condition is true, then uh, there will be this output else if this condition is not true then there will be something else will be the output so you can see here uh, it is in the form of flow chart that is first if condition 1 that is condition 1 is true then the condition 1 statements all right if it is false then it is going to move to condition 2 okay then it is going to see else if condition 2 is true then the uh, condition 2 statements else if condition 2 is false it is going to condition 3 uh, so else if condition 3 is true then it is going to condition 3 statements else if condition 3 is false as well then it is going to the else statement output all right so uh, let us see for uh, in a program so that we can better understand what is if else all right so uh, let's say we have this program okay let me just remove this hello world so now here we have this if and else statement all right let's say i declare an integer int a is equal to 5 all right so now i am going to use this statement so if i check if a is equal to 6 then what i want is print okay not print see out see out a is 6 all right and now i am going to use else i am going to print out a is not 6 all right so in this case we are going to have uh, get the output that is a is not 6 because uh, we have the condition that is if a is 6 then it is going to print out print uh, a is 6 all right so first it will check for this condition that is if a is equal to 6 so since this condition will uh, not follow because a is 5 it is going to move to this else block all right so it is going to print a is not 6 so let us just run the program to see if it is working or not Okay, so as we can see, we have this output that is a is not 6. Okay, so I hope you now get the basic idea of how if else statement looks like. All right, so uh, here uh, let me just put the syntax of if else statement. Okay, so I am going to put it in the comments. All right, so here. Uh, if else statement works something like this if statement 1 then there is conditions uh, the statement sorry if condition 1 then there will be the statement else if condition 2 then there will be the statement for condition 2 all right and we can go so on so finally uh, when we get let's say else if we got to n condition that is condition n all right then there will be the statement according to that and finally there will be this else okay that is if none of the above statements from 1 to n is true all right so here there will be no conditions it will be for all the cases uh, we can say default statement or uh, a general statement that is if none of the cases is true okay so this is the format for if else statement that is we use it like this if else if else if and so on for example here we have used only one if else statement that is if and else we can put another line that is 
else if a is equal to 5 I can say c out a is 5 all right and so now we should get uh, this output that is a is 5 because first it is going to check this condition that is if a is 6 so it will see that a is not 6 so it, then it is going to move to this condition that is else if and it is going to see if a is equal to 5 and then it is going to print c out a is 5 okay and since a is 5 so it is going to print this condition okay once any condition uh, is attained then it is going to just uh, execute the statement next to it and uh, it will not check for other conditions all right so now uh, let us just compile the program and run it again so we can see a is 5 we got this output all right that is here it first check this a is equal to 6 condition then it uh, and it find out that this is wrong so it move towards the next condition and since the next condition is true uh, it executes the statement uh, within that condition all right so now i hope the syntax for if else statement is clear as well okay one thing here i want to tell you that these brackets which we have used with if else statement okay it is a good practice to use these curly brackets basically because uh, whenever you are writing the statement let's say you have more than one statement that is statement one statement two okay you want both statements under this if then you have to use these curly brackets otherwise let's say if you only have one statement then you can use uh, you can uh, you do not need the curly brackets okay for example uh, let me just use the statements okay uh, i can remove the curly brackets here because after if and else if and else there are there is only one statement so it is going to execute okay so here since a is 5 we should get the output that is a is 5 so let us just run the program and see the output see we get a is 5 however let's say we want two statements to be executed that is a is 5 and I also want this as output that is a is not 6 okay so now what is going to happen here that after else if this statement is going to uh, get executed all right but this condition uh, this statement will uh, anyway get executed not according to the else if okay uh, let's uh, to make it clear let's use this uh, c out okay uh, let's use this c out here okay so in this case now what will happen that it will going to check that if a is 6 so uh, a is not 6 so it is not going to print this that a is 6 all right and then we want our program to move from this if statement to this else if but what will happen it will print this line that is a is not 6 then it is going to move towards else if and then it is going to print a is 5 so let us uh, run the program okay yeah it is and here it is showing error uh, that is because uh, this else if doesn't have any previous if because of this c out statement uh, this else if is not related to this if okay so that's why to execute two statements or two or more statements uh, you need this curly brackets so let us see the output and we should get a is 5 okay so uh, let's uh, just change the value of a to 6 now we should get this both these values as the output okay both these statements as the output so let us uh, just run the program and see we get both the lines as output that is a is 6 and a is not 6 so this is how the if else statement works all right so now one more thing i need to add here that is nested his if else okay that is these are single if else statement now you can use another if else within these if else for example there is this else if condition all right so now here 
uh, we use else if condition and uh, in this we are printing c out a is 5 okay so here i can use another if else that is if let's say i uh, print i use a is greater than 4 okay then i want to print a is greater than 4 all right so i have used this if inside this if else okay else i am going to print a is smaller than 4 okay so let us just compile and run the program okay uh, yeah i forgot the double inverted comma okay uh, the value of a is 6 that's why uh, we are not getting we are only getting this output that is these lines so let's change the value of a to 5 and let us compile again so we can see here we get both these output that is a is greater than 4 because a is greater than 4 and we get this c out statement that is a is 5 all right so this is how we use another if else statement within the if else statement all right so now let's say i make the value of a as 3 okay so here i am going to change this condition so now we should get a is smaller than 4 and here let's say we get a is 3 so let us just run the program again and see we get the output a is smaller than 4 and a is 3 all right so this is how if else statement works so to make this uh, statement to make this uh, so that you can understand it better let us make a small calculator program using if else statement all right and so that we can even revise the operators use of operators as well in this program okay so now for our calculator it is going to perform these operations that is plus minus multiply and divide okay uh, we are making a very basic calculator so it is going to perform these four operations so now first of all we are going to give user the option to enter two numbers okay enter two numbers so first of all let us declare the numbers that is int a and b okay and let us also uh, declare the characters that is for the operation operator which user is going to choose from these four operators all right so for that we are going to declare a character let's say ch all right so these are our integers that is the numbers so here we are going to input these integers that is c in a and b okay so now we are going to give user the option to select the operator and we are going to provide him four operators that is plus minus uh, divide or multiply you can select any of the operators all right so now here we are going to store the value of operator in this ch variable so now we are going to use if statement that is if ch is equal to plus then uh, what we want in our output okay remember there is never semicolon after the if statement there are curly brackets only and we are going to see out here a plus b all right similarly we are going to use else if let's say ch is equal to minus okay so here we are going to see out a minus b again we are going to use else if let's say ch is equal to multiply okay then we are going to use see out 
a into b okay and finally else if ch is equal to divide now here uh, this is an interesting scenario because here you can uh, we are going to use nested if else why you can see uh, let's say a user gives the out, uh, options for a and b as uh, let's say 3 and 0 okay that is a is 3 and b is 0 so divide operation is going to divide a by b all right that is it is going to divide 3 by 0 and we all know that any number uh, divided by 0 is undefined all right so here we are going to use nested if else to check for the condition whether b is 0 or not all right so here within this if else we are going to use another if condition that is if b is equal to 0 then we are going to print out c out divide by 0 error all right and else uh, if uh, b is not equal to 0 then we are going to divide okay that is a divided by b and finally after this else if see we have came out of this else if we are going to uh, give a default condition let us say user uh, puts any other option instead of these operator then we are going to print for any other option that is wrong operator all right so this is how we develop a simple calculator program using a else statement so let us run the program and see if it is working fine or not Okay, I forgot the semicolon here. Yeah. First of all, let me just uh, see the logs here, here. Okay, so let's compile again. Okay, uh, there is capital C in C out. Yeah. So now let us just start the program. Here it is giving us the option to enter two numbers. Let's say I add 12 and 5. Now I am going to select the operator. Let's say I select plus. So we get 17 as the answer. Similarly, let us use another operator. So let's say I again enter 12 and 5 and I am going to use multiply. So we get 12, 5, 12 into 5, 60. Okay, so now let's use the divide scenario. So here let's say I use 12 and 0 okay and now I use divide so it is giving us divide by 0 error and now let's use another operator uh, another operand to see if division is working fine or not so let's say I use 12 and 3 and I am using divide operation so it is giving us 4 as the answer so here our calculator program is working perfectly fine so now only uh, the subtraction operator is left so let us check that as well okay so 12 minus 8 4 is the answer so this is how you make a simple program simple calculator program using if else statement in c++ and that's how you use uh, the normal if else and nested if else in the c++ all right so i hope it is clear okay so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video